there's something missing on this hard drive. So that is the reason why this hard drive is giving strange errors. What's uh, been going on is the machine is turning on, uh, but it's giving a keyboard error. It says a problem with the keyboard, so there's, there's definitely something up uh, with that motherboard. Uh, as we suspected and now it's decided that it won't even detect the hard drive with the controller card plugged in it just keeps coming up with keyboard error now as I said before if a machine is giving keyboard errors there's a good chance of something else wrong with it and uh, not just a keyboard controller chip now this is that chip back in this proper motherboard where it belongs haha <laughs> so this motherboard appears to be the same revision of BIOS uh, so uh, there shouldn't be any issue with putting that other card in here so uh, we're going to do that and uh, we're going to basically literally take apart the other okay, machine. So we've got to get this card in here. So this is our, our ST card. We've got to get it in here somehow. So we're going to try and do this on the bench here. I'm going to zoom that out. Hold on. I'm going to further. Okay. We're going to get this baby in here. Okay, she's in there nice and snug. Okay, it's uh, not sitting neat as you can see, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the video card is built in, so we can use that. So we can, in theory. Let's go ahead and plug in a monitor cable the right way up, of course. Always helps. Anything that can cause errors on a computer of any vintage, even a modern machine, is actually a bad power supply or a dodgy power supply. So uh, it is worth testing uh, the ATX power supplies. This is an AT power supply. The ATX power supplies with a, a power supply tester. That way, then you can determine if there's a, an issue with the uh, motherboard or other little bits and bobs. Okay, so I've asked it to ignore the floppy drives and just boot up with this hard drive installed. So a bit lucky it'll detect this hard drive now and start running. And it is Cupid Integrated ASC VGA BIOS release is working and the system is booting up. And there we have it. So there's some serious issues in that board. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start the taking a part of the system uh, which is basically gonna, gonna take everything out of the system out of the case and uh, put this new motherboard into it and uh, that's uh, that should be the end of it then right that's it now this is it this is my final time I don't want to get the 10 episodes <laughs>
Take the cables in. I'm just going to get everything else in. This is really weird work on this angle. Uh, let me have a look. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Don't pull that one back out. That one there, we put on there we can. How we put it in there and stick it in, there it is. That is upside down probably. Yep. Okay, that cable there, that's from the hard drive. It goes onto the chassis. Of, I think it's to stop you getting electro shoes. Sitting on the screwdriver. Yeah, that went in nice and smooth, didn't it? Okay, so now we'll turn it around this way. Yeah, we have hard drive, CD-ROM drive, so CD-ROM drive. Just sort of power it up. And we have the one for the hard drive. We'll put the hard drive in on top, just sit it on top for the moment. And we'll put the power into that. It's upside down to modern ones. So I keep making that mistake. Okay, so that's all in. I just want to turn this fella around. So I can get this. That's better. Yeah, there are four screws in the back of this. These basically four screws hold in the power supply and stop it from doing what's just happened there. You're going to be plugging the old power cable in and it decides to skip across the uh, floor. That wouldn't be good. Okay, so and then this one here. And then this one. The one here. Look that, right. Start because I'm down there. Right, like that. Try not to cross head the screws, you know. Oops. Okay. So we are now back together. Back together. It took what? About a half an hour? Maybe less. You get faster as you take them apart. Stay here now. How's that? Oh, there is one thing that might be important is to plug these babies in. Just make sure when you plug them in that the black is to the center, okay? And these are the clips you put to the front as well.